Hello, hello, hello everybody. Hey, it's Zoe here for day number three of the Summer Shape Up Challenge. I hope that you've had a great week so far. Remember, all of these videos are saved, so you don't have to worry if this time doesn't work for you. They are saved on my page for you, so you have everything you could ever need. I'm just gonna start my little stopwatch here while we get going because today we are doing hit the mat, H-I-I-T, hit the mat, which means high intensity interval training. And what this means is we're gonna be doing 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest for 20 minutes. So I've got 20 totally unique different exercises for you written down on my notepad here that I'm going to be going through and I'm going to time everything for you. We'll do the movements together and in that 20 second period where we're resting, I'll be telling you a little bit about what's coming up next. So I think this is going to be a really awesome, awesome video um, and a great workout. I do have my amino H2O. I get a lot of questions about what I drink during my workouts and amino H2O is a BCAA branch chain amino acid supplement. You just mix it in with water. It helps you to have more energy during your workouts. It really tastes delicious too, so it motivates me to drink more water. And it also safeguards our lean muscle because I like to do my workouts fasted in the morning. Um, so I've just had a coffee, lots of water, and I'm gonna have this to help give me an extra little boost of energy. I need more shaking. But I do have a link around this video for Amino H2O. I also have my pink yoga mat available. We are selling out of these really, really quick. So if you want one, make sure you tap the link around the video so you can grab one. And then what else did I have there for you? The quiz, the quiz so that you can try um, and take that quick little quiz and see which yoga burn routine is best for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we are going to be starting down on all fours, drawing the shoulders back and down away from the ears, the knees directly underneath the hips. Take a big inhale to soften the belly, pull the chest through, exhale round the spine. So we're just starting with a little bit of a warm up. One more like this, so that we make sure we're nice and safe before we get into these challenging exercises. Awesome. From there, come to a neutral spine. I've got to switch my ring over. We're going to inhale and send your right arm nice and high. Big breath in. Exhale, reach through. Take a big twist. Get close to the floor. Couple times, inhale, open up. So we're warming up the shoulders, the spine. Exhale, thread it through. Get one more. Wonderful, come all the way back up and set that hand down. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, the <laughs> left arm high. Exhale, thread it through, get low. So you can see you're bending that supporting elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, thread it through. One more. Good. Reach all the way up. Big twist. And lower back down. From there, curl the toes under. Lift the hips nice and high. And just pedal the feet out. Alternating, pressing one heel to the mat, then the other in our downward facing dog. Walking our feet all the way up to our hands, we can fold forward over the legs. Shake the head, yes and no. And then roll all the way up to stand, giving the shoulders a nice roll at the top. Awesome, and then let's go ahead and get into it. So, first movement is down dog, toe tap to plank. So let me show you how it looks first. 
And then um, we've got about 30 seconds till we're going to start because i got to start on the right spot so it doesn't take too much brain power for me. So this one looks like this. Now, option number one, you're just going down dog to plank. Down dog to plank. Option number two, you're going to reach and touch one leg, then come back. Reach and touch the other leg, then come back. Yeah? So those are your two options. Get ready to go in three. First one, two, and one. So plank, down dog. Plank, down dog. Maybe alternating reach. And make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders when you come forward. The idea of the hip is that we're moving quick to really get that heart rate up. Nice job. Keep going. Keep that pace up. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Rise all the way up to standing. There's our first one done. Next one is jack squat. So you're going to step the foot out, then lower down. Don't go yet. Step out, lower down. Okay. Three, two, one. Step out, squat, step out, squat. So I'm always going to start with a level one, which is where you can stay. Or if you want, you can go to level two, which is more of a hop. Okay? Or you're here. Ah, uh, no. Mommy's working. We're going to see how this goes. 10 seconds, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, that is number two done. Now, number three, alternating straight leg lunge to squat is the next one we're gonna be doing. So you're gonna be standing at the top of your mat with your feet hip width distance apart. Get ready to move, three, two, one. You're going to step back into a lunge, then rise all the way up. Other side. So, see if we can stay low in that squat when we come all the way back up. Roger. <laughs> keep breathing, keep going. Try and go a little quicker for our last 10. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Good, good, good. Okay, next one. Forearm alternating side plank is the movement. Get ready to come down onto the mat. Let's see how this goes. We're breathing nice and deep. Okay, your forearms are down on the mat. You're going to twist to one side and the other. <laughs> oh, God. Rod, I'm going to have to lock you out here. I'm going to have to. Ah, uh ah, -uh, no. I'm going to have to lock you out. Oh. No. Honey. So you're just side plank, side to side. <laughs> why, why? Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Ah, uh -uh. come here, please. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, bear step up and back to alternating hop. So here's what that's gonna look like. You're going to come to all fours, floating the foot. Then you're going to twist and kick out to one side, then come back to center. Twist and kick, center. If that's too much, just try and bring your knee to your arm right here. Okay, that's level one. Level two, twist. Maybe you want to reach for the foot. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, honey, you're killing me. Go a little quicker. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Come all the way up to standing. That is bare to step up. We're doing squat, throw down. So what you're going to be doing is standing with your feet nice and wide apart, and then acting as if you're throwing something hard down, okay? So you're going to reach all the way up, come down. Reach, and like you're slamming something on the floor and then rising up. And go quicker. We're halfway through. Awesome. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Whew. Lunge with clap under is the next one. So we're going to do the right side first, and then the left side after, okay? So you got 40 seconds on the right side only. Here we go. Have your right foot up, left foot back. Come up, come down, flat under the leg. Up, down, up. So you're trying to press the leg to straight. And then lunge nice and deep. 20 seconds. Keep going. Press through that heel. Clap under the leg. 10 seconds. Nice job. Woo. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing job. All we're gonna do is the same thing on the other side. Exact same thing on the other side. 10 seconds. So it's going to be your left leg at the top of the mat that stays stationary, your other leg back. Go up, down. Yeah. Make sure you're lunging down nice and deep. Up. Fifteen. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, right? All the way up. Next one is side lunge, toe taps. Side lunge, toe taps. So you're going to turn to face the long edge of your mat with your feet nice and wide apart. Toes pointing to the long edge of your mat. Stretch your arms out. Side lunge, side to side. As you do, you're kind of tipped forward. Now you can stay right there or twist side to side, reaching for opposite foot. And the twist is coming from your waist, not just from your arms. So try not to just do arms, your whole torso. Twist, go, go, go. Quicker, quicker. Yes, awesome, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Huh. Good job. That was side lunge, toe taps. <sighs> Next one we got coming down to all fours again. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Line up at all fours. Hover the knees. You're going to alternate lifting one foot up behind you then the other. So it's a donkey kick with knees hovering. Core in tight, work that booty. This is exercise number 10, so we're already halfway through. Let's see if we can up the intensity for that final 10 minutes. 
Then we're done our workout on this glorious Friday. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Next one, we're coming down onto our back for a clam crunch. So we have our lower back pressing all the way down into the mat, our hands at our temples, shoulders drawing back and down. Draw your knees in and start. We lower the feet, then curl everything up. Lower, curl, lower, curl. And see if you can lift your low back a little bit up off the floor as you curl. Everything down, everything up. Everything down, everything up. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Come all the way up. Uh -huh. Bridge walkouts. Next one. We're going to be laying all the way down on our back in a bridge position. So let's just come up. We've got five more seconds. Bridge position, feet are grounded. You're going to step one foot out, then the other foot out, then one foot in, other foot in. So out, out, in, in. Press your arms down. Now try and keep your hips as high as you can when you walk out. That's probably the trickiest part. <laughs> Switch sides, so other foot out, then other foot in. So if you're going one side, start going the other side. Hips up high, squeeze that bum. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Ooh. So that one is great for the hamstring and the glutes at the same time, which is awesome. Next one, overhead reach to push up. So you're gonna come down to laying on your belly. Starting now, you're gonna lift everything up and lower down. That's level one, lift and lower. Level two, lift, swim back and press up. Lower down, reach out, lift up, swim back, push up. Lower down, reach, hands press, push up. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Oh, honey, you were just about to fall asleep. This is tougher than I thought it would be. Thank goodness we have a standing one. Praise the Lord. We're doing a squat to tap back. I think turning the other way might be easier for you to see. So you have your feet nice and wide apart. You're going to squat, then rise up and tap back. Squat, tap back. Squat, tap back. Hands can be wherever you want. Hopefully you don't have to hold the weird looking toy like this. Squat, tap back, squat, tap back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Next one is a sumo squat to calf raise. So you're going to have your feet really wide apart and your toes in a little bit of a turnout. Oh, starting to get my heart rate up. So you're going to squat down, lift your heels, rise up, lower down. Squat, lift, up, down. Squat, lift, up, down. Squat, lift, up, down. So when we lift the heels, we're working our calves, but also our balance. Squat, lift. Heels down. Squat, lift, up, 
heels down. Go a little quicker, go a little quicker, almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Standing reach and pull to knee drive. So you're just gonna stand tall, reach your arms up high, and from there, all you're gonna do is drive your knee up and pull down. Drive your knee up and pull down. Go right now. This is a risky one. <laughs> wow. Whew. So you're really trying to use your abs, lift those knees high as you can, and big pull down, big pull down, halfway. Go a little quicker. <sighs> we lost our mat. On the next one. Chair alternating wood chop. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. <sighs> Next one is chair wood chop. So you guys know chair. Chair is the one in yoga where we have our feet right together. So what you're going to do is have your palms pressing, lower down to one side, then rise all the way up, arms overhead. Lower down to the other side, all the way up. Cross up. Cross up. When you rise up, try and snap the hips forward to squeeze the bum. So you're getting that squeeze on the glutes every time. Uh -uh. <laughs> 10 seconds. Go quick, go quick. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Awesome work. Let's see. That was number 17. We got 18 to go. Hop to pause drive. That's the one. So next one, you're going to have to use a little bit of space. You're going to hop to one side, pausing, loading that leg. Hop to the other side, pause, pause. Now, level one. Level two, pause, do a little drive up. Level two, drive up. So you wanna get that pause every time. Ah, ah, ah. I will. 
We're gonna go for one minute. Keep going. Keep going. No. <laughs> 15 seconds. Do not stop. <laughs> stop. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Great, great job, everybody. So there was 20 minutes of non stop movement. Hopefully, yours was a little bit easier than mine was today. Oh my goodness. Rise towards the top of your mat with the big toes nice and close together. Inhale, stretch the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out to lower. Hands to the mat. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale through chaturanga. Either cobra or upward facing dog. And all the way back to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Breathe in and step the feet up towards the hands. Breathe out and forward fold. Rise all the way up to stand, connecting the palms. Exhale the hands down through heart center. Little bit of movement through the neck. So we're going to press our hands all the way down towards the floor. Rolling the chin along the chest to come to one side and then the other. So moving side to side. <sighs> nice deep breath. <laughs> oh, gracious. <laughs> Come all the way back to center. Give the shoulders a roll. Amazing, amazing job today. Thanks so much for spending that time with me. Um, I'm sorry about Roger. I know it's a bit distracting. But I'm trying really hard to get him to learn that I'm going to be down on the floor. So, um, yeah, I'm practicing that a few times a day. And you can see how well it's going. <laughs> but it's something that I do feel like I'm going to be able to work through. And it'll get easier with time. So he's not going to be like this every time. But I do appreciate you bearing with me as I learn and do my very, very best. Uh, to make sure I provide you with a great workout that's also real and authentic and is genuine with what's going on in my life right now, which is this is what's going on in my life right now. So I'm wishing you an amazing, amazing weekend. Do be sure to tap the links I've placed for you around this video. If you want to check out Amino H2O or the Pink Yoga Mat, they are my favorite go-tos that I use each and every single workout. So I am wishing you a fabulous, fabulous day. Please do like this video if you enjoyed it and be sure to share it as well. Big hugs, lots of love. Bye-bye. Oh. Guys, I'm drenched too. I see you guys. I see you guys are like, I am so sweaty. I got a really good sweat on today. So I'm still working through all of this, but I appreciate you guys so much for being patient with me. Um, I really do want him to learn how to just be able to hang with me while I'm doing this. So we're gonna work through it. He won't be with me every workout as you guys have seen, but this is what's really going on on this lovely Friday is this big baby right here. This is what is going on hardcore in my life every day. So I'm wishing you an absolutely amazing, amazing weekend. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Big hugs. Lots of love. Bye.